Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well. We are here for another Tim Holtz Tuesday and it's kind of a craft and chat tutorial thing. Um, I wouldn't call it a strict tutorial because there's not, you know, it's not just right to the point and straightforward. So um, there'll be some talking and things like that. So if that's not your jam, um, you may want to fast forward this or go to the end to see what we we do. Um, but anyway, this is what it is going to be. So first of all, hi and welcome to everyone. And um, if you're following this series, we are kind of working on a couple of these uh, journals that I did. We've done the cover and it's a ring bound journal. So basically we're going to be like pulling things out to decorate and work on them. And I'm not, I'm kind of like um, doing things ahead in one and then doing one with you. Um, and then I'll show you both of them when we're done. Okay. So basically today I wanted to kind of go over what we did. Um, and I was going to decorate this up some first, but I thought, no, I'm, I think I'm going to do that, uh, with everyone, um, together. And this is basically what you purchase from Tim Hulse and it's called the accordion folio. And I have basically, um, just recreated it as best I could. Um, it's got all these numbers, I mean, writing on it cause I measured everything, but that's basically what it is. It just folds out like that. This falls down and then it has this little accordion thing. And I think you can put that anywhere. You could put it over here. You don't have to put it there. But anyway, um, that is what we recreated and this is what we made. Um, so we made this little kind of a replica. It's, I, I think it's, you know, pretty decent. It is a lighter weight um, manila folder and I did that on purpose because I want it to um, to be a little bit lighter weight because I'm going to cover it with things and I don't want it to be too bulky. So anyway, what I thought we would do today is we'd go ahead and cover it and um, start to decorate. Um, maybe not put the items in, but at least cover it. And then I'm um, going on to doing a few other things. Okay, so first off, um, this is a lighter weight uh, manila folder than the actual uh, uh, folio that you buy. This is a lot different, okay? Um, so to me that's a good thing because I want to go ahead and possibly go ahead and put some um, Tim Holtz paper on there. And I think I'm going to start with that. Okay. So let me see here. What I'm going to do with this is I decided I'm going to try and use uh, this piece of paper. And um, I don't remember which pack this is from. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just um, kind of take some glue. And I think I'm going to put some glue on this. And I'm just using our glitter glue because I know it glues down well. And I'm going to go, and I'm actually going to cover this portion down here too. And go all the way up here. And I know it's not going to go all the way to the end. We're going to have to do something with that. Okay, put that over here, and I like to use my little spreader a little bit when I'm doing a lot of, you know, area, and this stuff dries fast, so we kind of have to work fast, but it'll work. And then I'm just going to take this and kind of line this up with the bottom. See if I can get up higher so you can see it. I'm just lining it up with the bottom and trying to somewhat get it in the middle. And I don't have a lot of time to work with this. 
And if it's not perfect, that's okay, no big deal, because we're gonna be adding things to this um, later. I think it needs to go this way a little bit. Just a little, there we go. And I'm gonna pat, put something on the edges there so it's not a big deal. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And I can go back in and get anything I didn't get down. All right, so then I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut around this. There we go, that's good. And so part of the reason I like using the lighter weight um, file folder is that once you put the cardstock on this it makes it quite a bit thicker and if you're going to put it in a journal you know now if you weren't going to put it in a journal and just use it as a freestanding element then it might be good to use the um, thicker manila folder but I do know that the ones that you get from the dollar store are not as thick as ones that you like buy from the office supply because I I have noticed the difference. I have no idea what weight they are, but I do know that they're not quite as thick. And let's do that. And of course, save all your little pieces because they work well for a lot of things. So that's good. I can see a couple of places I need to glue down more. Probably because I let the glue dry before I finally got it on there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I don't see any other smell. There's a spot it's mainly on the ends. And I kind of want to get it down decent now because what I'm going to do is I'm, I am going to put the um, the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, cre uh, fold lines back in it, okay? So, oh, I didn't get that corner real good. I'll cut that. Because we had all of our little score lines in there. But I still have them on the back, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and redo that. Um, okay, so on this part here, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to, let's see how far, that's not going to go all the way over, but most of the way. So let's see about that. So I could put that there, and that would work, right? So I'm going to do that. A lot of this is going to end up being covered up when we get done with this whole thing, so I'm not too concerned. Again, go like that. So I hope everybody is doing well. I'm really enjoying doing this because I just have all this stuff and I'm like, wow, boy, I'm just happy that I'm using it. Although some of it is not, you know, it's a, you know how they don't always redo things and I know that when it's gone, it's gone. So that's part of the reason I've been stocking up on things, so just to know that I would have it. And I'm going to cut that out. Okay. I'm going to cut that. Make sure that's down. And then this piece, I don't think will be enough for that, but I could put it right there and then add some to the edge. That would be kind of cool. Maybe go that way. I don't know if it would really matter. I have a bunch of scrap pieces too. So let me see. I could put that here and put that up there. And I don't care if it's perfect because we're going to ink it and do all that kind of stuff. So I think what I'll do is I'll put this here. I think I'll just put it on here and that'll be easier. And of course part of it I'll have to cut off. But, I mean, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So that is going to go right here. 
and I'm just patching it together and I know that you will not be able to see it all you know um, yeah I'll see I went over that but that's okay and then I'm, I think I'm going to use one of these or both of these pieces right here. Is that one tall enough? I don't know. Let me see if this one is. Yeah, this one will work, I think. Okay, so if it'll work that way. Nope, has to work that way. Let's see. I don't think that one's high enough. Okay, so this one works. I can go either way and I think I'm gonna go kind of like that I don't, know, I don't know maybe like that let's see does that piece work better that works better right there okay so I'm just gonna put some glue right here and I'm trying to use this thing because usually what happens when I do a video I get my fingers so inky that, I mean gluey that I can't um, do anything by the end of the video because everything's sticking to my fingers okay so that's that one and I'm just going to trim around and get all that off extra off and anyway Okay. So you, you're going to see just by adding this one layer of cardstock that it is very, very um, thick already. So if you don't want that, use a lighter weight, or I suggest. Um, if you watch that video and we piece this all together you could just do the whole thing out of the paper to begin with so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get my scoreboard out and see what we can do as far as um, I am just gonna go over the score lines that we already had and I'm just gonna go over them again and this way, hopefully, that will score the other side. So that way I know where I need to fold these, okay? So all I'm doing is just using my scoreboard. And I'm just randomly lining them up with the lines so I can use it to go over stuff I already did. And that means that they will then show up on the other side so I will have score lines to to use and that way no issues there okay so then oh I didn't do this right here I do need to do that and that is going to be let me get that lined up. Okay, let me get that pretty lined up right there. Um, looks a little crooked from there. I'm going to have to see what happens here. Maybe I'll just do that and then see where it ends up. Just looks a little crooked. Let me redo that one. Okay. And we'll go eight right here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now all I'm going to do, now that I've done that, I'm going to just take all of my little score lines and I'm going to use my bone folder and get those nice and folded. And let's go here. Okay, so we've done all of our score lines again. So we're back where we started as far as what we have. 
Okay, so that is our short side and that is our long side. Um, when you use this, you could just not do those score lines if you're not going to make it very thick. Um, I might in the end do that, but for right now I'm doing it this way because I want the option. I didn't get that full down real good. Okay, so now that I've done that, this is what I have on my inside. And on the outside, because I don't want to make it too bulky, what I'm going to do is I am going to use some of my um, Tim Holtz uh, collage paper. And this is document, and I want to use that. Let's see, I have another one here. I have uh, topography. I don't know, maybe I might use that one. I'm going to look at both of them real quick. Uh, I bought these ages ago, and I haven't used them very often. Um, let's see, I'm hoping, yeah, it'll cover that whole thing. I don't know if I like this one better. They're very similar, so... Jeez, I don't know. And then what other ones do I have? I've got quite a few, so... I've got travel, I've got numbers. I know I don't want any, like, nature type things because I'm not trying to do that. I think I'm going to do that one. I think I am. They're very similar in color. And they have a lot of the same elements, but I think I'm going to just use that. And then make sure I put the right one back in here. All right. So then I'm going to do that, and um, I have, oh, I didn't put the top on this, that's going to make it a pain. I have some watered down, just plain old white glue, let me get that, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of that ready to go and the reason I'm doing that is I just don't want to have too thick a paper on the back but I want it decorated so I think I'm going to do the whole thing and then do it all at one time over here because now it's not going to go all the way down there I'll have to piece that and that's okay I don't care I think I'll be fine so anyway Matt's moving a little bit. It does that all the time. I gotta figure out something to keep my mat from moving. I have glass underneath my mat and it's great for messy, you know, things, but at the same time it just tends to move. Alright, so let's see if I can get that on there without making too much of oh well I already made a mess, so alright, so I think I'm gonna try um I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go, I am going to try and get it right way. So if I can line it up on the bottom, get it on the bottom, lined up pretty good. Pull it up again because I got I might have to pull this closer toward me. I don't know if y'all will be able to see so that I can see what I'm doing. So if it's too far out in front of me, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I think I want to go right here. I, all I know is whenever I try and line stuff up, if I go on the bottom first, it's usually easier. Let me go up a little bit. There we go. This has to move up. There we go. Move that up. And usually, you know, you're not trying to be so precise with this, but because it just fits perfect, I'm trying really hard to get it on there to where I don't have to do that much more to it. Okay, and I know it does have some wrinkles, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so I'm going to cut that so it's easier to maneuver now. 
All right, that is pretty good. Oh, just fell to the ground. Let me get that. I've done that, and I'm going to do this little piece down at the bottom. And I'm just going to go right over this. I really just need my paper towel to kind of clean that up. And then that way I'm not sticking to the mat. Okay, so let's just try a little piece for that. And let's see how we're going to do that. We'll just do that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Maybe I can make it look like a little continuation. Probably I should overlap it because if I don't, it probably will split, I bet you. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. It's not going to stick there. All right, now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of just straighten that out. I'm going to go over it again, but I think I'm going to cut it out first. On this side, I can tell, you know, what's supposed to be in there, what's not. Now, I was sitting there thinking you could probably have used like, um, you know, just like a some copy paper that you have printed on that would probably work really well because it wouldn't be too thick you know but I had this tissue paper and I hadn't used it and I thought it kind of went with everything so oh this is memor was it memorandum it might have been memorandum I don't know I'll have to look again Ugh. okay and then this piece right here. Just going to go right there. And, you know, we're going to ink around it, and I'm going to use a file to kind of smooth out the edges when I'm done, and they'll be glued down better because we're going to put more glue on it. But this is what we're going to do initially. And so that is a good way to cover the back. Um, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to go ahead and put another coat on top. Okay, and then I'm going to let that dry while we're doing some other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take this and go. Oh, there's like some that was some really bad glue right there. I have to mess with that, see if I can fix it. Okay, and it's just going to go over it and go another whole coat. And I'm only having to do this because I hit the bottom of that jar and it was kind of yucky there. And that will be, when it dries, it'll be on, on there really good. And then we can go in and sand it and do whatever and ink it and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this aside and let it dry. And then... I'm going to take our little foldy thing that we had, and I am going to use, um, I think I'm going to use this one, and it is, what is it called? Uh, travel vo Voyage, and I, I'm pretty sure you can still get these. Um, I don't know if they're discontinued or not, but it's not really that hard to get them. Okay, so on this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on one side. And I'm actually going to put something on the other side. Okay, so this is how it's going to fold up. It's going to fold up like this, okay? So um, I'm going to do one side with one thing and one with another. So it'll look very different. But I'm going to go ahead and use this on one side. And... Make sure I get it the right side, like that. I think I'm going to just cut the piece first, because it would be easier to use. Yeah, I'm just going to cut this so that I have a piece so I don't have to mess with it. Okay. There we go. Need that put it back in there. I should put the other one back in, too, because I'm going to end up getting them all messed up. 
so anyway yeah that's that one I mean and they're similar and they go together just like all his papers go together um, so there's some that are very different though and we're going to use one of those in, on the back so let me roll that up alright so now I'm going to go ahead and just get some glue on that it's the bottom of my glue it needs to be mixed up. That's why it has little chunks in it. I'm not good. Anyway, this is just plain old. I don't even think it's Elmer's glue. I think it's just um, white glue that I bought from the dollar store. And then I watered it down probably 50-50. And I used to use like matte medium and all that. I realized that this works for, what, for, this, for this kind of project. It works really well. So... I use it for napkins and that's another thing if you don't have any of that tissue paper your own tissue paper or you could easily use um, napkins or you could uh, print on tissue paper and do the same thing you could use um, vellum's kind of hard to use but you could use um, you know just copy paper anything let me see here I am going to go this way with that. So I think I have to get it all. This is a little bit shorter, so I have a little bit more wiggle room with this. So I'm going to go like that all the way across. Yeah. All right. And this one, because I'm going to use. Um, tissue paper on both sides. I didn't go and redo the um, lines, but if you were going to do like a Tim Holtz paper or a heavier weight cardstock on the back, I would go through and rescore these. But I'm pretty positive I'll still be able to see my score lines. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Okay, move that aside. And just cut that out. Let me just use my big scissors on that. Get the ends down better. And like I said, I don't need it absolutely perfect because we'll go in and do a um, another cut with that. Okay, so we have done, and of course, like I said, always save those pieces because they're great for collage. Okay, so here's the other side. And I am going to again glue with this again but I'm going to put tissue paper on the other side of this so I'm going to do that before I put my final coat on there and I'm going to use oh, let me get this one out I have all these in here um, the one I'm going to use on that is this is um, typeset and I love this um, I use this a lot on collage and stuff this is a newer one that I have I wonder if I have my old one opened up. Maybe I just didn't. Um, let me see. Oh, I know I replaced this one because I had used it so much. So um, this is why I use it a lot because it has a white white background, and when you put it on, you it's just great if you want to like. Um, ink up the background or make it a color or something. I'm going to leave this the way it is, but um, it's that's what's so fun about this one. But um, I'm actually just going to leave this the way it is. I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. Go this far, but I really love these. This is I use this a lot. And that's why I, I had to buy another one. I'll probably have to buy a couple more. Because if they ever quit doing it, this one, I'll be very disappointed. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Alright, so that is that. And I'm going to cut around that. And then... We will go ahead and put glue on the other side so it's just going to look like this on that side and the main reason i did that is i want contrast i'm going to cut it from this side be way easier 
So I'm going to cut it all the way around from this side as good as I can. Okay, so anyway, this is the two sides. So when this folds, it's going to look like this. So that is why I did that. So you would have the contrast. And look, so we need to put some glue on that. So now what I'm going to do with this is basically the same thing I did with the other one, but I'm going to re-glue both sides. I'm going to put more glue on the top. Okay, so make sure that all gets glued down. We have a little spot right there, but that's okay because we're going to ink this all up and you will never see any of that. You'll never notice it. And if you have to, if you rip it or something, all you have to do is just patch it and it'll, it'll look just fine. But I'm going to go ahead and put glue all over this and then I'll wind up um, trimming it a little bit more if I need to and then filing it um, just to make sure that it is all um, glued down and smoothed down and all that. Okay, so anyway, that is all I'm going to do with that. I'll go ahead and probably put this over here. I've got a, I do have a media mat on my other little surface for it to lay on that it won't stick to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next part. So I'm going to let that dry and I will be right back. All right, so we have all of our pieces um, dry. So the next thing that we want to do is kind of trim it up wherever we might have, you know, just some little pieces kind of hanging off a little bit that we did too long and then are too big. No, there aren't that many, I don't think, but that's basically what you want to do at this point. And I don't think I have that many. And a couple over here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, let me get that off right there. And now what I'm going to do after I did that is I'm going to take a nail file and just kind of go off the edges and that'll make sure that any other edges that I have that I didn't get with my scissors are filed off. It works really well. And this is just a nail file from the dollar store. Um, you know, you can use sandpaper, but the nail file makes it very easy. And we're just going to get it all kind of sort of right there. Okay. So now that we've done that, we are going to talk about if you want to sew this, um, and there's really not any reason to um, do that if you, you know, I mean as far as structurally to do that, um, I don't know. This actually, as far as um, the actual piece of it goes, um, you could sew that and then just have, you know, a few pieces in here and there and then, you know, just have, um, as far as uh, tucks and things like that, I personally am probably going to put this in here. Um, I'm not sure. I actually thought about putting it on the other side, but I don't know. I guess I'll put it in the middle, and then um, that is going to be just some tuck spots. And if you want to sew this, then you would 
sew it now you would go ahead and sew all the way around it and then it would have that on there and then you would sew all the way around here and here and I would think that that would be enough um, if you were going to put this um, down like this then I would put like a pocket here or something and maybe you might want to sew that um, here um, you may want to attach what you're going to attach and sew it and that's pretty much what I, what I would do as far as the end of that I would ink it also which I guess we could do that now um, I'm going to use walnut stain I like to use walnut stain um, when I'm using darker colors and things just because I think it shows up better and I'll probably just ink it on both sides um, and I probably am going to sew it all the way around before I put it together so um, I think what I'll do is I'll do that and I'll show it to you I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and do all the decorating today because I want to do something else so uh, I think I will do that part where I'm going to show you what else we're doing. So our little piece that we attached to this and the other one, you can't even tell where it was attached. So that's what's cool about that. It's just completely hidden. So you duplicated the same thing. And that's why I'm saying if you wanted to, you could just piece together pieces of Tim Holtz paper and accomplish the same thing really and so if you do this and you put that there see how cool that looks and then you would just you know glue that down or what you could do you don't have to make this pockets you can decorate each one of these um, differently and then do that and I may do that I may decide to do that and that's it right there guys so that would go here you can attach things to this you can attach something if you wanted to let me move that over to this actually I want that here oh, I don't know what's going on oh I think I need to fold that there there we go so that was a little bit weird and wonky but there you go so um, if you want to you could put a closure on here and sew that or when you glue it down put it on there so that it will um, close so you know that's something to think about too um, I'm not a hundred percent positive again where I'm going to put it so I'm not going to do that now but that is basically it you know how you would decorate this and then you would just go ahead and decide what you want to put on the inside Okay, so now that we've finished that, um, I'm going to put this aside and I'll probably decorate it and show you how I decorated it. Um, I may show you while I decorate it. I'm not 100% positive yet. But I did want to show you something that you can get um, that we want, to, again, to duplicate because we're going to be using it in our, um, our little Tim Hulse journals. And this is uh, file cards. And it's 16 pieces and um, basically let me kind of show you what you get with that you get um, first just some single pieces like this I think you get four of everything and I have three here because I used the other ones and then you have a tab um, little tab card here then you have these little uh, pockets here so they're just little pockets and you have these little uh, cards here and they're meant for you to decorate okay so you I think you get four of each I'm not sure yeah I'm pretty sure and anyway so obviously some of those are kind of self-explanatory but I did want to kind of go through a couple things with you just so that you have the dimensions if you want to make this on your own okay so first off, I wanted to make, um, duplicate these little, um, what do you call those things? Uh, 
little pockets, okay? And, um, you know, what I did is I took one apart and I went ahead and figured out all the dimensions and cutting and all that stuff and scoring. So I'm going to do that for you, go with, with you. And that way, if you want to do one at home, you can. And honestly, I actually like the idea of doing these with the uh, papers, the Tim Holtz papers or any other papers, um, just because I think it, they're already decorated then. But I'm going to do one with, again, a folder. Um, just because I want to duplicate it and I'm just gonna this is a folder I had that has three pockets that I used but I um, I'm gonna use it for this go ahead and just cut it so I have a piece here and I'll of course use all those pieces but um, first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut a piece that is six and a half by four and a half and four and a half is from this end all the way over to here to the end of that and six and a half is from here to here so we're going to go six and a half by four and a half and i'm going to probably just cut off this part that's already folded just so i don't have to mess with that so let's go let's go four and a half And then let's go um, six and a half here. Okay, so we've done that. So we have our four and a half by six and a half. Hope that's straight. Let me see. Uh, I guess it is. All right, so we have four and a half by six and a half. And now what we're going to do is we are going to basically get our scoreboard out. I'm just going to use my little scoreboard for this. And we're going to score at let me, where's my little thing? Okay. Well, I don't know where my, oh, there it is. I like this one better. I don't know why. There's not a lot of difference. We're going to score at one and a half. Okay, and then we're going to score at um, four and a half. Okay, and then we are going to score at, um, I believe it's four inches across the bottom, okay? So we have it like this, and we're going to turn it sideways to where what we already scored is going um, across, okay? And then we're going to score right at four inches, okay? Oop, let me, I moved over. Shouldn't have done that. So I'm going to score this at four inches, all right? So that's how it should look when you're done, except for this little mark right here. Okay, so that is it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Go ahead and we are going to um, get our scissors and we're going to go ahead and cut this portion out right here. So if you watch this, it's just a little where the two score lines are. We're just going to cut it to where they meet. So you cut that out. You're going to do that on the other side. Okay. Okay, so that's how it's going to look there. And then what I do, because I want to make it closer to how they did it. Okay, so after you've cut it right here, okay, that's how it's going to look. And then what I do is I kind of take them um, and I match these two pieces here without quite folding it. Okay. And what you can do there is... You can just take it and kind of round it, or you can use a punch. I'm going to go ahead and just take my scissor and kind of make round it a little bit. Just a little bit like that. And what that'll do is that'll make 
both sides the same like that okay so that makes it very similar to what we already have and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fold this in the side goes down let me get my bone folder I can fold this too it doesn't really matter right now but we're going to need it folded at some point I'll fold that in okay so after I fold this in I am going to this is my middle right here I'm just going to take my um, this is a one and a half inch punch I mean you could use any size really and then this because this is my middle I'm just I'm going to eyeball it but I am going to just then go down I think that looks like the middle right about there all right so that gives me my little area there so and then we just glue it wherever I put my glue here we go and so we're gonna go ahead and just take this and you want to put the big side down and then you can put a little bit of glue on this side right there and put a little glue over here so that goes down then that goes down use my bone folder on that I didn't do a very good job of that okay and then this goes down all right so that is pretty much let me show you one of them I have them all piled over here so I can't figure out where they went all right here we go so that's it and then you know that's pretty darn close um, I think my whole my rounder is a little bit bigger than there so my circles bigger I do have a shorter one but I guess I could have used that but that's okay I think we're good I don't know if this one would work better let's see yeah I have one that is um, a one inch so maybe that would work better so I guess next time I would use the one inch and it might match up a little better but anyway you get the uh, gist of how we did that and so that's the dimensions on that okay so then the other one that is a little tricky is the um, tab okay and this is what you can do with that is you just um, cut out your piece let me cut it out here let's see I'm gonna use let's see if that's wide enough yeah I'll just use this so on that you are gonna go uh, four and a half inches by three inches okay so let me cut this off here okay move that out of the way I don't need it um, four and a half inches so we will go ahead and go four and a half inches oh we didn't do our three inches yet let's just do that right here okay and then let's do our four and a half so let's go telling you this thing is always begs me where the little lines are right here because it just it kind of drives me nuts okay four and a half all right so now what happens is we have our little um, tab that we have to reproduce so we've done this a little bit longer this is actually a little bit higher let me just go ahead and I'm gonna move that down I forgot what I did I thought it was not quite four and a half so let's just I want to make it the same so I'm gonna just go ahead and do the difference right there just so it's the same I, you know not a big deal if it's not but anyway so so here we go um, and then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and replicate this now there are different ways that we could do it we could just easily take a pencil or a pen or even just get your scissors I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but 
you could just hold it like that and take your scissors and go like that all right and then go like that and I think maybe here just kind of round that a little bit and you can replicate it like that okay so basically you've recreated I would say pretty much the same thing but if you want to use a tab punch okay you can use um, any of these I have a tab um, punch but and it makes ta good tabs but the tab that it makes is very different from that I'll show you it's very similar to this on the top so to me it doesn't look that much like it so I probably wouldn't use it okay um, for that it's not that I wouldn't use it for a tab you can also use an envelope punch board um, I have one of those too and oh and here's the tab punch if it's you know bigger but I would you know I was trying to match the one that they had as a smaller one and so if you did the small envelope punch board you're going to end up with a you know kind of a smaller looking tab um, the larger envelope punch board which is this you are going to look like you're going to look get a you know larger tab but again I don't think it looks a lot like this I mean it looks good it's a good tab but I don't think it's the same and um, so and I can show you how to do that real quick let me see if I have a piece of paper I'm just going to show you you would do uh, let me see if I have a small piece here that would work so you can see how it works you would basically just go um, I think it was one and a half inches and then you would go you just basically take your punch board and you're going to go however however far this is which I don't remember and I did have it marked at one point but I I've got all my stuff mixed up over here here it is yeah it's one and a half inches okay so basically you're going to move over to one and a half inches okay and I actually went over a tiny bit okay and that you have this little tab thing here and then what you do is I take it and turn it over in this little corner I just take it and go line it up with the uh, middle of my punch board which is basically it goes to a V and I hit right there because you want to hit the end of this and go in there and just hit that and that gives you your other side with the little loop thing if you want a bigger tab you just you would go over more and then all you do is you just um, cut this portion and I usually try to let me see if I can use a ruler or something or because I usually never cut this straight but I'm going to try so that's kind of how you would make that tab and if you do it farther away like let's say you go two inches all right then you would just basically hit that okay so that's going to give you a bigger tab and you would just go like that and you're just trying to match right here and go all the way across and make it straight okay and that just I think I cut it a little crooked but that gives you a tab like that so 
I mean, it doesn't match the tab that you have on here. I think cutting it freehand does that, but um, it's up to you. You know, you may want you may want it that way, and that might be fine for you. The other thing you can do is you could use a tab punch like this. Um, these are readily available. I use it a lot, and um, you can just take that. Um, if you get one of these, the trick to this is if you want to fold it over and be able to glue it on, like if you want to just put that on like that, okay, you would go, uh, let me see how big this is. This is about one and a half inches, and I'm going to fold it in half, okay. So let's just fold that in half, somewhat folded in half. I don't know, it's not very, very well folded, but, and then you're going to take your punch board or your punch tab and uh, you put it in. This is the folded side and you put it down like that. And what you do is you leave a little bit of a gap on top because that, then you're not cutting it all the way through and you punch it and you will get a tab that's folded like that. If you don't, if you want two separate pieces then, or a separate piece, you would just put it in without folding it and then you would just punch it out and you get that, okay? Which technically is probably closer to what they have. So then you could just glue that on, right? You could just glue it on. Let's see, I don't have any more pieces here. And put that on. And you could just basically do the same thing just with your own with your own tab punch. So, you know, that's another way to do it. I have a whale tail one too. Of course, that looks nothing like it. But if you wanted to, you could certainly put that on there too. You could put that and, you know, make that your own little, let's see here. This is a folded one, but put a little glue on each side. I mean, it's up to you. You can make them any way you want to, but I personally think it's really easy just to cut them out. But that makes a cute little tab there, too. So you could do that. You know, you can do the, you know, cut it out on here. Let's see, where's the one? This is the one that you do, can do with your punch board. And then here is you know, one that you cut out by hand. So those are kind of what your choices are. You can do any of those um, and you'll end up with one of these, okay? Now the rest of these, I mean, obviously guys, these are really self-explanatory. I'm just gonna tell you what the dimensions are just so that you can cut them out. This is um, six inches um, this way, all the way across and four inches that way. And then you fold it in half, okay? So just six by four and you fold it in half. So I'm not gonna go through that. That's obviously really easy. And then the other one, geez, I don't even know where I put that. And so these are just three by four. So three inches this way, four inches that way. So obviously, and these are just single. So that's everything that you can make um, yourself very easily and honestly, I just think that would be really cool if you just made them with um, paper. I mean, you obviously, you know, could make the folders, but if you have the folders and you have to decorate them, um, personally, um, I'm probably going to make some. Um, I might make a few plain and I might use a tissue paper on them, but I don't want them that bulky. And these are actually, again, really thick. So. You know, you need to think about that. The, um, the uh, file folder I use is really thin, so it wouldn't be overly bulky. Um, it's great for the um, like cards and stuff inside, okay? Um, but, you know, you just have to think about what you're doing with them. Super, super easy to make, no problem. 
And on these, like I said, I think if you did the one inch, um, it would it would match up perfectly. But I mean, this is pretty darn close. So anyway, that is it for that. Um, close enough, right? Okay, so that's it for today. And um, I just wanted to show you the basics of making those items because I'm going to be using them throughout the journal. And I thought, well, gosh, I might as well just show you um, what the dimensions are. I know they're very self-explanatory, but you if you want to match them, you kind of need to know what the what the dimensions of these are. So, and maybe you know, there's new people out there, and they don't they might have learned something. But for the most part, that's it, guys. So I will see you again next time, and um, I will probably uh, decorate this up quite a bit. And um, if there's anything new um, that I do to this, I'll show you um, what I do, and that way you'll see it. Um, but I think most of it will be pretty self-explanatory. And then I'm probably going to start um, doing a few things in each page, and it's going to be not so much tutorial, but more, um, you know, craft with me and decorating and that kind of thing. So um, I'll just, you know... If you, you know, turn on the camera while I'm doing it and, you know, hopefully it'll inspire some people. All right, you guys take care and I'll see you again next time.